the cross country, proclaiming good news to our nation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And now your host, Mahari Warfield. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Put another off, edition of Cross Country. Yeah. This is your Cross Country broadcast. Um, we do this every Sunday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we have one vision and one goal and one agenda. You know, there's a lot of agendas in the world today, a lot of traditions of men, a lot of uh, ulterior motives. But there's one motive here, and that's to lift up the work that Jesus Christ did on that cross 2,000 years ago. Why? Because it is supreme. It is the supreme event to this whole universe. There's without it, we're nothing. Amen. He, he Amen. has spoiled yeah. all principalities and powers. I'm talking about That's he's right. above it all. There's Hallelujah. nothing that he's not greater than. There's no leader. Amen. There's no boss. There's no uh, speaker. There's no preacher. There's nobody greater than Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross purchased everything we need. When he said it was finished, it was truly finished. And we are going to shine light and underscore with the help of the Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit teaches. We speak, but the Holy Spirit teaches and we want the Holy Ghost to, to move today. And you know why he's going to move? Because we're lifting up Jesus Christ in that work. See, Jesus Amen. said the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, will testify of me and we're going to testify of that of that event today of that one person the supreme right. one jesus christ and if you're tuning oh, in today if you're scrolling on your phone on your computer we want to tell you to stop that's the holy spirit it's this is not a, you thought it was a natural thing it's actually not it's supernatural today and the holy spirit is drawing you in right now because you're going to hear something to explain possibly why You've had the issues you've had, possibly why we failed God, possibly why we're not getting the results that we thought we should have had. It's Amen. all found in the message of the gospel, and the Holy Spirit is going to help us to, to, to explain that and to utter it today. So we thank you for joining us today. We've got our regular panel. We got Brother Richie. We got my brother Mike, but we are extremely excited to have Brother James Wilcut. And I've been seeing him online. I've been knowing he's from the powerhouse of the church with Pastor Wayne Voss over there in Mississippi. And to have them on the broadcast today, of course, next week we've got Pastor Wayne Voss. A lot of you don't know. So we've got a couple weeks of some heavy hitting cross preaching this week and next week. So you definitely want to stay tuned. So we just thank my brother for coming on this broadcast with us today. We thank have a topic. You. And the topic is what does it mean to be determined? You know, we've caught a lot of flack and I say we because I consider myself determined, amen. And those that are proud of being determined and say it, you know, when religious folk, and I say religious, you can be a cross person and still be bound in religion. Oh, because yeah. You won't go far enough for what the spirit is saying right now to the church. He's bidding just like he bid Peter to come out into the deep, to go deeper. And you say, I can't go that far. Well, let me tell you, with the determination, the determinedness, if you could say that, of the Holy Spirit will cause you to go farther. And those that don't want to will actually sometimes put down those that are determined. Sometimes there's a great vast difference between those that are determined and those that aren't. It shouldn't be that way, but unfortunately it is. We're going to explain what that determination is today, and we're going to get into it. You're going to be blessed today. So I want you at this juncture will be a great time to hit like, subscribe. But most of all, we want you to hit share. Why? Mm -hmm. Because people need to hear this. You need Amen. to hear it. We need to hear. We preached a message today about the war of words. You know, words are very important. You can't get where you need to get in God without hearing the preached word of the cross in its righteous context. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. You could you could right. read it and you need to read it, but you need to hear it. Amen. You need to hear faith still come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And you need to hear it, and somebody else needs to hear it by you hitting share on your device right now. Before we go any farther, you will allow somebody to actually catch this and the Holy yeah. Spirit to use it. So we ask you right now to hit share. Glory Hallelujah. 
So real quick, we'll do some quick housekeeping at Word of the Cross Ministries. Uh, we have a, a local fellowship um, with, here in Naples, Florida. We meet at the community center at 1130 on Sundays and actually 7 o'clock p.m. on Wednesdays. Um, and we are doing a work in this area is to help us with the work of God because there is really a, um, a lack of the cross. We did a last year, we did a big bash, repent Southwest Florida, even put names that people could key into. And you know what? It told us to tell. There's really none of it out here. Well, it made it made a lot of sense why God would raise us up because look, God loves this area so much that he's willing to prepare a table. But what's on the table is the cross. What's on the table is lamb meat, amen? And that table is being prepared. We need the support. If the Lord would put on your heart to help with the work we're doing, we would like you to consider giving to this storehouse down here that we could have meat for this area. And amen. we need to thank the Lord. There's some information on your screen. We won't labor it very long, but if the Lord touches your heart, to actually support the work of God is not for people to get fancy cars and suits and stuff. It's, it's for one reason, to continue to, to expand this message of the gospel down here in these neck of the woods. And we Hallelujah. He yes. praying for what God's doing with us. Now, having said that, we're going to jump into this topic. Amen. And it's Thanks, about man. being determined. Our key scripture today is found in 1 Corinthians 2 and 2. And this is the Apostle Paul. He said, for I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And it's just a little uh, brief history, what brought Paul to this uh, statement of a fact in his heart. You know, Paul had just left Athens in, in Mars Hill. And in that text, you find it in um, Acts around the 16th, 17th chapter. He began to... to preached the gospel, but he preached more of the resurrection. I understand he didn't even say the name of Jesus one time, but what he did, we could beat Paul up, but how many of us have been in the same situation? He went into the apologetic realm. He went into the realm of debating because he could. This guy was very, very smart and intellectual. And you know, sometimes we can use even our very uh, oratory skills to try to reach people. It's, it's, it, and I'll even say this, if you love souls, there can be a drive in you so much to see a change. You'll go into things that aren't even the, the cross, but you, you just want the ends you think will justify the means, but you're going to find in this message in, in first Corinthians, why that doesn't work. Because even though Paul got some saved, it was very little, compared to the type of results Paul was getting. You got to understand the message of the cross had not been planted hardly anywhere. And everywhere he went, he got great results. But in Athens, it was really chump change compared to what he usually got. But now turn to crank, his next journey was to go to Corinth. What was special about Corinth? Corinth had some real bona fide sin going on. Let's say it's the Vegas of sin. Amen. This That's is where they, this is where they were sacrificing, uh, you know, sexual sins that they were uh, waving their eyes to and not not exposing. This is where they had uh, demonic worship in the temple. This is where there was just a whole lot of 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 sin. It was the Vegas of sin. And Paul is now being called to go into this. I'll tell you what that's like with you and me. How many times have you come home and your very household is, is in an uproar? Oh, I'm speaking to somebody. You might be saved, but that husband ain't saved. You might be saved, but little Johnny's not saved. Come on, somebody. How many times have you had to go to work and you hold your salvation, but everybody around you is, oh, is going a whole nother direction or you're sitting at a church a, a church that's not cross-eyed. Come on. Oh, and you're yeah. sitting in that pew, and inside of that pew, you're hearing all kind of stuff that's not. And if I stand up and, and begin to talk about the cross of Christ exclusively, man, it's not going to fit here. Have you ever felt like maybe I'm out of step 
because the rest of the church world as well as the world world is going in a whole completely different That's direction. right. That's can, right. Can you imagine how Paul would have felt coming in? I don't know how he got there, if it was on horse or what, but when he finally gets to, to Corinth, he had an issue on his hands. But the brother said this, I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. I like to believe, and give me a little room for conjecture here, but I like to believe that Paul said, look, I tried the schemes. I tried intellect. I tried sleight of hand. I tried matching wits. I mm. tried all that, and none of it worked. And he said, now I'm going to the real cesspool of sin. I'm going to Corinth. But it just went up 20 degrees harder Man. than it was before. <laughs> you better preach the cross. Amen. You better go to what works. Amen. Why? Because nothing else works. But the gospel, if you remove the cross from the gospel, if you remove the blood from your message, you don't have it. You message. ain't got, you take Amen. the sting out of You take the very power of God out of it. And yes. I believe Paul right. learned that. And I'm speaking to some preachers today as well as uh, pew people because we've all dabbled in trying to maybe this will work. Maybe it, let me, it won't work. And that situation is not changing. It's not going to change. The only thing that can fix the soul of a man, the only thing that can fix the degradation, the only thing that can rewrite, hallelujah, the, 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 on the soul of man, the word of God is the cross of Jesus Christ and what he did that you're dead with him. He, he lived for you and he died for you, but you died with him. That's that 41. Known, there needs to be a confrontation with man. Mm -hmm. And in that confrontation with man, man has to hear. Didn't say everybody's going to take it. But Paul was just determined enough to say, I'm not choosing anything. I'm done with it. I'm going to tell you my own life. I'm a little personal. And my brother, when we get the mic, he can tell you too. I'm done with the other stuff. It's over. Never again with the Lord's help. I will not go back to that other stuff. It's 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 too late. I know too much now. The cross works. Amen. The Amen. Cross, oh, people might turn on you and say, man, he's going to look at that's weird. Who cares? I'd rather be weird, but guess what? My my kids will come home. I'd rather be weird, but come God's going to rechange my life. I'd rather now be weird, you. but guess now what? I can get over the crack addiction. Amen. Amen. It's not about being who cares. This world is all going to go to hell in the lust thereof. Amen. Every bit those of that are holding on to cross, oh, to the cross Jesus Christ and what he did on Ooh, Calvary, glory to God. those will move forward. Hallelujah. They're going up. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing else will work. And there's glory a determination that one must have. And everybody yeah. gets to that breaking point. But will you yeah. take it? Will you follow what Paul said and become right. determined? Mike, Let's go to you. Help us with this topic. Well, what you're saying about the Apostle Paul, one thing we all can say, everything he preached was cross-centered. There's no way you can say that what he, you know, he never mentioned the cross in here. Anything he mentioned, if you go further, the cross was in it. I don't care if you go from Romans to uh, even, I believe he did Hebrews, but even if you don't believe it, all his writings, the whole Bible is the cross, but I'm just saying that there's no way you can deny that anything he mentioned, the cross was centered. And, yeah. and, and, and you got to realize, too, the more pure the gospel, the more offensive it is to the world and the religious world. Oh, yes. See, and this is the problem right here. I, I've seen in my lifetime, you know, and, and, you, you know, you, you brothers see it. I've seen people that I so I've, I've heard this message for about what are what, about 20 some years. We've heard it, you know, and. I've seen people that I thought were cross ministers that love this message. I've seen them go away from it I, and uh, ministers. And I think my opinion, I think the offense of the gospel took them away from it. The being determined, there's results. When you say I'm determined, there are results, but, but, but the result, but the, the end, the, the ends justify the means. If you stick with it, even if your family members don't want to hear it no more yes. and they kick you out. If your church don't want to hear it, you you know, all the religious society says, we don't want, we're tired of hearing that garbage. If you stick with this, you, the results will be victory. Yes. Like Mahari said, your marriage will be healed. All the issues you have, if you stick with, you stay determined, 
There's results because when you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Come on, Mike. all those other things will be added to, to you. But you have yeah. to stay faithful. And that's why when you go to Colossians, I think it's, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Colossians uh, 1, 2, where it says, uh, uh, let me see here, to the saints and faithful brethren. Yeah, and I like something that Brother Russell said. You, you should listen to his message because he was kind of, uh, his message today was similar to what you're talking about, Mahari. Uh, but he was showing in scriptures, God's not looking for a successful uh, minister. He's looking for a faithful minister. That's good. Faithful doesn't mean you're going to fill up a stadium. That's good. Faithful doesn't mean you're going to drive a Cadillac when you get done. That's what the religious world says. Faithful means you're sticking to the cross. When yes. you remain faithful, like I said, it says, and the saints, uh, and to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae, grace be unto you. The spirit of grace is upon all of us, cross preachers, preachers of righteousness, whatever you want to call those who preach this message, and peace from God our Father and Lord. There's peace that we have that, that the world cannot apprehend. There's no peace that a psychology can bring to you. None of that stuff will bring it to you. Yeah. And, and this is another example. If you read Galatians 5.11, see, Paul was struggling with this stand determined. And he said, and I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision. Now, I can put anything in that. Back then, it was circumcision. Right. The, the religious society wanted to hear circumcision. They believe that was the answer. What do they believe now? There's so much garbage out here now oh, on man. the internet. Uh, family members, I want to say it again. Grandmama don't want to hear circum. She don't want to hear about the cross. She wants to hear you name it. Uh, Pentecostalism, hyper Pentecostalism. If I preach hyper Pentecostalism, uh, why do I yet sir, suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross. Season. If I preach psychology. <laughs> Why do I suffer persecution? Then if I preach allowing other ministers that don't preach this message to come in my church, but it's okay because the spirit of God is still moving because we're doing cartwheel. If I, brethren, yet preach this, why do I yet suffer persecution? See, when you preach the cross, there's an anger and there's an offense because man doesn't want to see it. Religious man, like you said, Bahari. People in religion don't want to hear it. The world don't want to hear it. The, the, the world wants another savior and the church wants another sacrifice. So they don't mm -hmm. want to hear about Jesus. And you know, as he said, I'm determined to preach Jesus Christ and what and him crucified. Just saying Jesus is not enough because there's all kind of Jesus out there. Hey, come on. When you don't put hey, the, when you when you don't when you're not determined to preach nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified, you're pointing them to all kinds of directions and all kinds of paths. It's not the path of righteousness. Oh, Lord, and the results will not be victory. It will be defeat in your life. I don't care how good it looks. I don't care how good the crowd is. I don't care how nice your family treats you because you quit talking about that determined. I don't how, care how big your church is because you stopped talking about it. You got a few more people now because I quit talking about that cross. I think we went too far with that, fellas. You know, and there's other things. There's other things to talk about. What else is there to talk about? You're telling me, tell the Lord that. I don't care if you tell me. There's other things to talk about. What else is there to talk about? Mm -hmm. I've asked these people to say they believe in the cross, and they're going around saying there's other things to talk about. Tell Jesus that. I don't care if you tell me. Tell him that. Lord, when you go to heaven, say, Lord, I'm just going to tell you, there was other things to talk about. Oh, I don't think so. Jesus. Let's stick with the cross. I'm done. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is there other things to talk Keep about? I think that answer is no. I want to I want to get a couple comments in here. Um, Frankie Gibson said, even the demons name. believe and My tremble. Amen. A.R. Garber says, um, says, Brother Mike, they want everything but the cross. Amen. Um, Pastor Preston Nasal says, good word, Brother Mike, faithful to the cross. Amen. And um, amen. So we also want to let you know your comments, if it helps to the discussion, we'll do our best to try to get it in. Sometimes they come a little fast, but we definitely want to make it interactive. We also, a lot of times, have a time of prayer. You know, God, we have God's, God has our ear, but we have his ear, I should say. 
and yeah, because yeah. of what Christ did, and we can call for the elders of the church, and you can Amen. receive a breakthrough because of Him, but not because of us, but because of Him. So the, the chat line is definitely open. Brother Richie, help us with this topic. My Amen. Lord. Amen. My Lord. Praise Amen. God. Brother Mike, you was on it. I can't wait to hear uh, our brother. Um, man, I, I tell you, um, back in in my day, I think the only time that we really wanted the cross is when we needed healing. Somebody was sick <laughs> or somebody was somebody's child was in trouble with the law or something. Then we hey, we need some blood then. But man, if you were sitting on the mountaintop, man, it, it was about nothing but sowing the seed to get more money or to get yeah. this or to get that yeah. you know my faith was in my money that seed brother and nothing else you you mm. couldn't tell me anything about the cross as a matter of fact i didn't even know that was a message until, yeah. until pastor uh mahari and and brother mike brought it to me i'm like man mm. what in the heck is this but i tell you <laughs> It, it is the power of God. That's you right. Know, Amen. You it know, is the power of God. You are saved. It is the power of God. Amen. That's where we go. That's where we stay. The same thing that saved us is the same thing that keeps us now. Come on, Brother Richard. We don't have to look yes. to man anymore. We don't have to look to this gimmick, to that gimmick, and and uh, what what to share anymore. And That's right. And this, you know, dumb stuff. You know, the Bible says, if I be lifted up, he said, if I be lifted up on that cross, I will draw Amen. It. Been doing it for over 2000 years now. Hallelujah. Amen. If we continue to lift that name like up, that. Jesus Christ, it, you know, and him crucified and nothing else. Hey, hey, we'll see results. You Amen. Know, we won't That's see no, results. we will see yes. results. Amen. Yes. Uh, first Corinthians uh, 1 and 17 says, and this is Paul, and he, and he says, uh, for Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Yes. Not with wisdom of words, least the cross of Christ should be made of non-effect. See, if you, for preachers out there who ain't preaching the cross, if you preach anything other than the cross, man, there ain't no power. It ain't of no, you ain't, no power. There ain't no deliverance, ain't no healing in it. There is absolutely nothing in it. And seven, Amen. eight Amen. goes on to say, for the preaching of the cross is to them who perish foolishness, but unto us who are saved, it is the power of God. Yes, it is. Our God. Amen. It ain't for anybody, I believe. You know, I believe, and I, I believe it's by God's spirit, too. So if you preach in another gospel, you mm. have no power. Amen. You have nothing to hold on to, as a matter of fact. So there's no deliverance for you either. There's Amen. no That's right. That's right. Bro. There's That's nothing right, boy, bro. either because you're not preaching Jesus Christ and Him crucified and nothing else. Hallelujah. So, so That's right. Me when I tell you, you know, hey, you, I've tried it all. You can best believe it. Like, like Pastor Mahari said, and Mike could tell you, man, we we tried it all. We tried to bring sure to with hip hop music. Every sure minute, man. Tell the truth. Came and ate and they got ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> sure did. Sure did. God, hey. It's crazy, man. I'm yes, it is. Jesus Christ, him crucified. Nothing else. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Curtis says, Amen, Brother Richie. Glory to God. Praise God. And, um, Brother uh, Frankie says, um, Jesus Christ without the cross is not Jesus Christ. That is excellent. Oh, that's beautiful. Man. There's that's so beautiful. many Jesuses out there. If you separate the cross from Jesus Christ, what Jesus do you have? I think Mike kind of said that earlier as well. Yeah. 
So, yes, amen. We're determined. Finally, brother James Wilco, okay. amen. We are so hey. glad to have you. Take this liberty. Take your time, and we're all ears. Chat it up. All right. Praise the Lord. Well, what an honor it is to be with y'all uh, this afternoon. Praise the Lord. Uh, it, it is a it is a it's a great honor to be able to declare this gospel uh, once again for all the world to hear to whosoever has an ear that would hear. And uh, Paul said, I am determined not to know anything among you save Christ and him crucified. Paul also said in verse three, he said, and I was with you in weakness and in fear and in trembling. Mm -hmm. It says, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's Mm -hmm. wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Yes. Mm -hmm. That your faith, he's talking to us this afternoon. He said that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. Praise God. But in the power of God. My Lord. Yes. But in what Christ done for us at the cross. That's right. And I'm going to tell you, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, all those that are watching tonight. Listen, if you truly are determined and it's not just a slogan, it's yes. not just a banner that you got hanging over your door when well, everybody walks into your uh-huh. church. If it's truly in your heart, you're going to suffer some things, my friend. Yes, you you're going to yes, suffer will. some things, my brother. But in that, listen, you don't need to be fearful. No. Okay. Go ahead. Because it is needful that the offense come. It's a, it's needful that the persecution comes. I oh, rejoice when yeah. I hear brothers going through persecutions for the sake of Christ. Amen. Well, well. I hear. Listen, I rejoice when I heard about a certain brother who got fired from a, an establishment because he was standing for truth. I yes, ain't got to right. say no names, we but won't. I'm gonna tell you, my heart began to rejoice. Yes. Okay. Amen. My heart began to rejoice. Amen. Paul, Paul's a heart would rejoice when he heard about those who were being persecuted for That's Christ's okay. name's sake. Amen. Yes, and, and as a Bible believer, I can't do anything but rejoice because no matter what we suffer on this side of the grave, listen, none of it even makes a tittle for what Christ did at the cross. Yes. What he did at Calvary, oh, yes. that's, that, that was the end and Ooh, the beginning. God. That was the beginning and the end. That was, it's a sealed deal. The yes, Bible Lord. says God will not repent for he has called him. Go to ahead, make now. one sacrifice. He's the one that made that one sacrifice. Amen. 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 Christ and him crucified. Praise God. Praise that's God. what Paul uh, would preach. And that's what Paul would teach. And yes. I'm going to tell you, those that are coming against the teachings of Paul, they're coming against the gospel. You know, yes, e- even if they say they're not, they are. The, the Bible declares yes, it. Uh, we you can't get uh, past it when you read scripture and begin to seek scripture, seek scripture and seek Christ's face. I tell you that we're in those perilous times, my friend. Yes, but listen, are. that just because we're in those perilous times, we're not here. The Bible says that I'm seated yes. in Christ Jesus, in, yes. in, places, good, in Christ Jesus. Uh-huh. That yeah. means what happens here, let it happen here. Yeah. We going on with Jesus. We looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. If yeah. we keep that, listen, we will make it all the way home. Amen. But the word determined, <laughs> the word determined is not weak or uncertain. Mm-mm. It's not weak or uncertain. And it also is to set boundaries or limit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, I, now we've been accused of putting God in a box. We've been oh, accused yeah. of putting oh, God, yeah. putting a limit on God. Well, let me tell Come you on. something, my friend. Go you ahead, need bro. to open up the Word of God. Come you on, need to get full of the Holy Spirit and let God begin to show you where He works. Yes. yes. Okay. Because He put Himself in boundaries. Come on. Yes, He did. Amen. Go ahead. Yes. Come on. You remember the old prophet that dug the trench around the altar? 
All right. Yes. All right. And he filled it with water and he saturated that wood. Listen, he, he, it, it was a that was a boundary. Praise yes, God. Yes, it was. Listen, and the only boundary that God's working in today is the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, That's right. He's right. working outside yes. that boundary. He's no. working exclusively in what Christ did it at the cross. Man, and you say, right. well, you know, you that's say down. that. I say that because I know he works there because he's delivered me. Amen. He set me free. Come on, and, he, and he said, whosoever will believe Amen. upon him. Yeah. You know, we say faith comes by hearing. We do need to hear, but we also need to believe. Amen. Amen. The heart that's must right. believe. Amen. If the heart's not believing, I don't care how much you're hearing. That's true. That's right. You can hear, but if it ain't mixed with faith in what Come Christ on. did that's for you at the cross. Go ahead, brother. Ain't gonna be no fruit. No, and there ain't gonna be no persecution. That's why you're still sitting in those camps claiming to be determined, <laughs> but you're not really, but your life ain't saying you're determined. Come on now. Go ahead. Lord. Okay. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. You know, and, and I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna go to first Timothy uh chapter six, my lord, verse three. Mm-mm-mm. First Timothy chapter six. We got a Bible, praise God. Yes, amen. amen. Thank God we got a Bible, but thank more. Hey, but thank even God greater that Christ went to the cross to send the Comforter and the Spirit of God to teach us all things that pertains Amen. to life and godliness. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. that's the greatest thing we can ever it's have is, is 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 the infilling of the Holy Spirit. But that does only come by what Christ did at the cross. Outside that, you don't have no infilling of no Holy Spirit. You might no, you have don't. a Spirit. But it ain't Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. No, it ain't. That's right. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right. First Timothy chapter six, verse three. Mm-hmm. Listen to what Paul said here. This is Paul speaking to Timothy. He said, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, oh, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to oh, the dear. doctrine, which is according to that. godliness. Yes. Godliness. The church today don't want anything to do with godliness. No, they don't. They don't want anything to do with living a lifestyle that is free from sin and that that is setting an example for others that others might be able to see their life as they preach it. Oh, they might have the message right. But what does their lifestyle say? Amen. Words. That's right. Amen. The Bible says, if any, it said, any man. Paul, he, he ain't holding no punches here. No, no, he, he said, any man, <laughs> any man. Teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words. Them wholesome words are words that have life. Yes. yes. The cross is the only thing that can bring the life. Only That's yeah. The only thing. That is it. Nothing else is going to bring life. I don't care what man says. I don't care what man teaches. The cross and the cross alone is what crucifies us with Christ. Therefore, we can be resurrected with him into a new creature. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible teaches and preaches. And it says, listen to what it says. And the doctrine, which is according to godliness. Paul said, if he's doing these things, if he's not preaching, are teaching these things, these wholesome words, the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, or the doctrine that is according to godliness, he is proud. Mm-hmm. Well, Paul would even go on to hear, God forbid we say this behind the pulpit, knowing nothing. False doctrine, false teachers. Yeah. He said knowing nothing. Nothing. But dotting about questions and strife of words. Yeah. Whereof comes envy, strife, railings, and evil, and evil uh, sodomizings. I forgot that word right. Surmisings. Mm-hmm. Surmisings. Thoughts. All right. Thoughts. These things. Now, now, the Bible would go on. I'm going to skip a few verses here, and I'm going to go to 1 Timothy 6 and 11. Now, mm-hmm. the Bible tells us here. If I keep reading, it says, preserve disputing of men of corrupt minds. This is uh, chapter uh, 6, verse 5. It says, and and destitutes of the truth. It says, supposing that gain is godliness. It says, such withdraw thyself. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. It sure does. It It says, from such withdraw thyself. Get on up out of there. It's got, that means you got to go. 
You got yeah. it. The, the, the Bible's clear on these things. If you go, if we skip a couple verses and go to verse 11, uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 11, what does he say there? He says, but you. He's speaking to the believer. Yes, he is. You. He's speaking to you. He's speaking to me. He's speaking to, and 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 I had to eat this first, my friend. I'm not on here to try to ruffle your feathers. I'm not on here. I want you to know what's right according to scriptures. Come on, that you Come may on. not uh, be entangled in those things that's going to corrupt your walk before God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's what we want. I want holiness. I want yes. godliness working yes. in my life. Yes. And it ain't going to happen. If I'm giving my ears to every uh, famed babbler that comes along, I, I, it's That's not right. going to happen. No. Praise God. Bible says, but you, but you, oh man of God, flee these things. There's Paul telling us again to flee yeah. those things. Yes, he is. He went from He's telling us, hey, it's time to cut rope. It's time right. to flee. It's time to, listen, consider it done. Truly be determined right. and don't back off. Yes, yes. Press for the mark of the high calling that is in Christ Jesus. Oh, and quit worrying about what people is going to think about you. Because, listen, yeah. it ain't about you anymore. You were it bought ain't. with a price. You're not your own anymore. No, that's right. You belong oh. to Jesus Christ now. And he paid a high price to keep oh, you God. so that you might walk upright before yeah. other men. Come on. Either, even Preach. if I be with you or I be absent. That your walk should stay the same. That your preaching should stay the same. Yes, that your determination should stay the same. It all should stay the same, yeah. whether I be with you or absent. That you might be an example before all men. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. But he says, flee those things. Flee these things. I said those. I'm sorry. It says these. Come these on. things. Mm -hmm. And follow after righteousness godliness faith love and meek patience and meekness mm -hmm. fight the good fight of faith mm -hmm. and lay hold on eternal life my lord whereunto you are also called hallelujah mm -hmm. that's where you called my friend yes, that's right you're called, you're called to come to the cross you're called to deny everything else. Come on, yes. man. Paul Go ahead, said, no Paul said I count it all but dumb to win Go Christ. Ahead. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. Right. Amen. And listen, right. today, so known, many man. in the church, they want to hang on to these things and, and these relationships to try to win them over to Christ. You're not going to win them over staying where they're corrupt at. That's exactly right. That's so good. No, you That's can't. So good. You're God. going to have to come out. There's going to have. They're going to have to see a separation, a separation, come and they're on. going to have to see you standing for this truth, even in persecutions, even in, even if you're locked in prison. Yeah. Paul yeah. was often locked in prison, but sure he was, was never bound. You hear come me? Come on, amen. Right. He was that's never right. bound. Amen. That's Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Because he was a prisoner of Christ, and that's right. where he drew his peace. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's Hallelujah. where he drew his peace. That's where he drew his power. Hallelujah. And yes. that's where we draw our power is through what Christ did at the cross. That we might be determined to, to continue to go forward in these last days. And I'm going to tell you, brothers, listen, if you're standing in this truth and you're not budging, you better get ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if it ain't done happen, you better get ready. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Because I'm telling yeah. you, persecution's coming. Good There's going to be false accusations. There's going to be all those things. Paul said it in his word. Oh, my Lord, it's coming. He said it in his word. It. Hallelujah. Come on. Paul yeah. said it in Romans chapter 5, verse 3. You can go there and read it yourself. And he says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations worketh patience. Yes, it sure does. These things work patience in us. Praise God. The Bible also says in 2 Corinthians 7 and 4 that, it says, great is my boldness of speech toward you. Great is my glorying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceedingly joyful in all 
our tribulations. My Lord. Mm -hmm. That's right. I get That's excited right. when I hear about brothers being persecuted. You say, man, you done lost your mind. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Talk about it. Talk about go it. Ahead, I did. Ahead, Listen, I want you to know that I did lose my mind. It's been washed in the blood of Jesus. Amen. My mind's That's gone. Right. My mind's yeah. on Christ. Right. I have my mind set upon those things up above now that sit at the right hand of God. In Christ, I have the mind of Christ now. My mind ain't here anymore. Amen. Right. Right. And that's, that's the right. way it needs to be. That's we're right. not here to do. We're not here to dispute ourselves or defend ourselves. We're here to give people the gospel that they might Amen. know what is right and acceptable. Amen. Amen. Mm. Before God, praise the Lord. Paul also would say in Galatians two, verse six, but of these who seem to be something, whosoever they were, it makes no difference to me. God accepts no man's person. It says, for they who seem to be somewhat in conference, it says, added nothing to me. Mm -hmm. They added right. nothing to me. That's right. It ain't about, I don't care who you are. I don't care who Come you on. promote. All that has got to be slept. That's got to be done away with. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. Yeah, you're right. Because if, listen, if they're not preaching exclusively what Christ did at the cross, I want you to know that that is a perverted gospel. Yes, yes it is. is. It is a Go perverted ahead. gospel. Go it's ahead, wild boars put in the pot. It's death in the mm -hmm. pot. Amen. Death yes, it is. Boy, and it ain't high. just Go it ahead, ain't bro. just failing either. My, it's not I just know. well. You know he failed. No, listen. Thank it's you. death. Paul said mm -hmm. that he was alive uh, once. Yep. But now that, you know, he was alive once without the law. Mm -hmm. But now yep. that the law came, now he's done died. Now he's died. Yep. Paul wasn't talking about felon. This this brother was talking about spiritual death. Yes. Mm -hmm. Spiritual right. death, my friend. That's how serious it is. And that's why most of the church is are rallying around uh, what they think might be right. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, my friend, I, I love the these that are are, are preaching Christ and Him crucified. Amen. Because Amen. It's, it's God's done it. God's raised up in these last days a few that are going to stand on this truth and they're not going to budge. And I pray for all of them, whoever Amen. they are. Yes. They know who they are. I, we pray constantly for them. Lord, draw, bring more into the harvest, Lord. Th Lord. Because the harvest is right. Bring more laborers in that they yes. might be burning. And Amen. then we see things that's been going on. Listen, this great all I'm telling you tonight is let your life be an example. Praise God. Let your Come life on. be an example of, ahead, those, of what you preach. Amen. Yeah. You can be That's the right. finest teacher. You know, Paul said, I didn't come with you with excellent words That's and my right. intellects and man's wisdom mm -hmm. because Paul knew that, listen, you can draw big crowds with excellent speech That's right. and, yes, and intellect and putting your own spin on the gospel. But we are to preach the word yes, in its right. righteous context and not get away from that. That's exactly no matter right. how it may make people feel toward us. Amen. Amen. Because if we're found uh, messing around with some things that we shouldn't be messing with, it's it's not it's not only going to hurt you, but it's also going to hurt the testimony of God. Yes, it yes. Does. And we don't want to do that. I don't want to hurt the testimony of God. I want people to know what's right. Yes, I want people right. to come and be able to receive a healing, be able to receive a curing of cancer, or uh, most of all, that that sin nature be put to death. Amen? Yes, that's right. And, and quit ruling and reigning in their in their heart, in that's their life. Right. No other way. If you'd look up uh, Romans chapter 12, Paul also made a, a, a beautiful exhibition over here about, uh, and here, here we go, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Paul said, I beseech you, he said, I beseech you. That word beseech, he says, I'm begging you. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. begging you. He said, therefore, brethren, he said, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. Amen. He did. That's what he said. Holy. 
yep. acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Praise God. Praise That's God. what he said. That you present yourself. Ho- Where's the holiness anymore? Amen. 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 Right, right. Where's the holiness in Christianity today? Word, they flushed word. that down the toilet. Yes, they yeah. did. And, sure and did. When, when you do that, well, it's because of the cross being rejected is why there's no yes, true holiness. Yeah, that's the only Because holiness. that is the only place where the power of God can actually go to work in your heart and in your life. And, and, and the work can be done from within. Yes. See, the church wants to start out here. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. They want to clean you up. They want to put a tie on you. They want to put a suit. They want to cut your hair. They want to get you off drugs, put you into rehab. You get out. Then they want to send you down to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, to the seminary class mm. and teach you how to preach. <laughs> God said, nope. <laughs> I'm not, that ain't how I work, my friend. Amen. You either going to come right. be crucified with my son, That's right. or you just going to keep doing what you want to do. That's mm. right. Bottom line. You're going to keep living and doing what you want to do, or you're going to be crucified with Christ crucified. and be made a new creation now. Because Paul said, it's no longer I, no longer me, no longer That's I, right. but Christ who lives in me. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. because I've been crucified with Christ. How That's nevertheless right. I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in yeah. me. Yeah. The life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Yes. Praise yes. God. And he said, I do not frustrate that grace. For no. if if righteousness came by the law, then Christ died in vain. That's right. That's right. Yep. But Christ Amen. didn't die in vain. Nope. Because Christ died, and we know that what he did at the cross worked because he was resurrected the third day. Amen? Amen. Yes. Right. Amen. The cross works. The evidence is he rose on the yes. third day. That's the, That's the evidence that the cross worked because death couldn't hold him. Hallelujah. Amen. He was victorious over it. And we can be victorious over whatever tries to lord over us if we'll be determined truly to not know anything but christ and him crucified but once again i'm going to say this that's not a fleshly determination that determination must be birth of god it has to be god's will working in your life to make you determined not you my lord we don't play a part in it, my friend. That's good. We believe God goes to work. That's right. When God goes to work, we just keep believing. And we Amen. just keep taking the cross up. We keep denying oh, yeah. self and keep believing. And we then what happens? We start maturing. We start yeah. growing in the grace yeah. and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. That's where it comes from. It comes... Paul said in uh, Romans 12 and 1, I'm over there in Romans 12 and 1 again, right after he said, which is your reasonable service, Mm -hmm. he says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. People say, I'm out of my mind. There is the scriptures right there. There it is. Man. It says that you prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. What is that? Good. Praise God. (laughs) What is good and acceptable, perfect will of God? Did you be crucified Mm -hmm. with Jesus? And did you keep that which has been committed unto you? Praise God. Until he comes to take us home. No matter what persecution comes your way. No matter what the big ministry says about you. Okay? <laughs> yeah. None of that matters. That's what right. matters is what God sees in your heart. Does he see right faith? Amen. If he sees right faith, you know what's going to happen? He's going to put his spirit within you. That's right. And he's going to grow you no matter what anybody says. It, it ain't, I don't care what men have to say. I want to know what the Bible says. I also want to know what it means. Amen. Yes, indeed. Glory Praise God. God. 
Yeah. Says for I, this is uh verse three in Romans 12 and 3. It says, oh. For I, though it says through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. It says to every man who is among you to not think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly Mm -hmm. according as God has dealt with every man, the measure of faith. Soberly think soberly. That don't mean uh not drink. And now, now when I say that, that don't mean you can drink either. Right, right. Right. Okay? Right. But what I'm saying is when Paul said think soberly, that means have your mind on what Christ did at the cross. Amen. Think soberly, be oh, vigilant, line it up with the word of God, get your Bible down. Do not favor me. And, and you know, I tell this to the children at the juvenile detention all the time, brothers. The worst thing I could do is give a man my ear because he's white and I'm white. Mm-hmm. Oh, my Lord. You, you, mm-hmm. you, you, bro. Go ahead. you hear Go me? Ahead. Yeah, I'm not looking at I'm not looking at no man in the flesh. You hear Come me? That's right. That's right. Right. That's what ahead, Paul bro. said. We look at no man in the flesh. I give ears to truth. Yeah, that's good. There it is. That's it, there you brother. go, brother. I don't give ears just because I like the way a man looks, or I like what kind of house he lives in, or what kind of car he drives, or just because he's name tagged to a big ministry. No, sir. That's, right. that's not Amen. what we do. That ain't that's right. Go ahead, brother. Don't work like that. If they can't preach the cross in its righteous context all the time for <laughs> everything, yeah. for everything. Yeah. Come on, Paul said go withdraw ahead. from them. Withdraw. He sure did. Now, sure when, when he said withdraw from them, do I withdraw from them in a spirit of high mindedness, like I'm no. on a tower of uh, some holy tower? Or something? Absolutely not. No, we preach the gospel. We give them the opportunity to hear what's right, whether they receive it or not. We still that's have right, to give it to them, right, and we give right. it to them in love and in meekness and in much long suffering. Amen. Amen. And brother, we 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 have to long suffer with some people. Some people they just it's hard for them to grasp that they've been lied to for fifty years. Yes, Amen. it is. That's Amen. so true. That's really it's so it's hard true. for them to grasp, but their yes, favorite yes. preacher has done bit off on a big bowl of stupid, as brother Amen. Curtis. Is. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It's it's just hard for them, Amen. but it's not hard for Christ. No, nope. it's nope. not hard for Him if nope. we'll get in Him. He said his yoke is light. Amen. Yes, he did. That's right. He sure did. So if we're trying to do it within ourselves, then we're going to fail miserably and we're going to be full of sorrows. There and we're is. going to be, and what we're really Amen. doing, that's the truth. What Here's we're really the doing, let's get into the where the rubber meets the road. If we're trying to do it, then we're doing exactly what Paul said he would not do. Mm-hmm. And that's frustrate the grace of God. It's frustrating. Yes. Your heart. That means you just put the you just put a wall in between you and God. You just put the brakes on it. You just stopped it. Amen. I don't want to put the brakes on God. Man, I want to dig in more and more and more. I want to dig in more. And I know y'all do. And I know anyone who has heard this gospel and they've been changed. God's birthed it in their heart to dig more and more into this truth and to be able to explain it to the simplicity that is in Christ. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. I know we're running out of time here, brother. Oh, you're, fine. you're, going, you're, oh, you're good, brother. brother. You're Keep good. it going. Okay. Don't stop. Well, you know, the clock out. Pro, uh, uh, you know, uh, the more I read scripture about Paul, how he was dealing with everything that was going on in the church that day, it just, it, it, it just, it lights a fire under me to see what's going on right now in the church. Oh, you know, yeah. it, it really does. You know, I, I just, for I don't understand. Well, I understand what's going on. I understand, and y'all know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know, when men begin to respect men's persons, we get in trouble with that. Yes, we do. We are to respect the gospel. We are to want to preach Christ crucified, and we are to want to support and to admonish one another that are truly sold out to this message and that yes. alone. 
you know, and, and I'm, what, me saying that, I'm not saying that because I'm jealous over one of, if, of anybody in the flesh. No. But I am this. Paul said this in 2 Corinthians 11 in verse 2. He said, for I am jealous over you with a godly jealous. A godly jealous. A godly jealous. It says, for I have espoused you to one husband. Mm -hmm. Listen, That's right. I want you to I, I I want you to be yoked up with that one husband. You hear me, Christ yep. and him Amen. crucified. That's, That's right. Come That's on. it. That I may present you as a chaste virgin, virgin to Christ. Yep. But Paul said, But I fear, least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility. It says, as your minds should be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Christ. Simplicity is in Christ. For if he who comes preaching another, Jesus, whom we have not preached. Paul said, anybody comes preaching another anybody. Jesus than which we have not preached. He said, or... If you receive another spirit which you have not received, mm -hmm. or another gospel which you have not accepted, now listen to what Paul told Timothy. I mean, these uh, in Corinthians, these are uh, this these this church. He said you might well bear with them. He said you're just as guilty. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. just as guilty. That's what he said. Oh. And you know the church don't like hearing that. No, they don't. Mm -mm. Ministers that's been in this ministry for a while don't like hearing that. Sure. But the Bible says, and I can't quote the verse, but I, I mean, I quote the verse, but I don't know exactly. And I think it's in Proverbs. The Bible says, he who hates instruction does not, is, 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 is not wise. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. that's right. That's right. Proverbs. He, who does not like instruction is not wise. Not wise at all. When I say instruction, right. I'm speaking of God's word and its right content. That's if right. God, if Paul That's is warning right. us, yeah. if, if he's warning us that we should not uh, be in, engaged in things that would cause the grace of God to be frustrated, then it's expedient that we take heed to what Paul was preaching because Paul was the man of the New Testament. Amen. Yeah, After Jesus are. was crucified, the revelation came to Paul, praise God. Amen. And, and 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 listen, I know a lot of people say, man, you put a lot of emphasis on Paul. Well, Paul was what he was by the grace of God. Amen. Yeah, yes, he was. It wasn't Paul. It was the grace of God working mightily in Paul yes, yeah. because he had faith in what Christ would do with the cross. Amen. Man. And my yeah. brothers, let me tell you something. That's the only thing that's going to keep you growing in the grace and knowledge in, in, of, of Christ and him crucified is by your faith being there and not moved away. Amen. Stay Anything praying. else, brother, you're going to buy off on it out of out of favoring men. And, and you're going to be next thing you know, you're going to be over there in the pig pen. Mm. I tell you, yep. Right, you tell it. You said it. Go ahead, I'm brother. Like it here. I've, I've been in the pig pen before. I don't like it. And Me talk about it here. Hey, I man. don't like the pig pen. I, I like new. Hallelujah. Brother Voss says that, man. I tell you, I get to bubbling up. He says, I like new. Brother, you don't understand. I love new. Yeah. <laughs> man, it's, it's a good thing to be made new in Christ Jesus. It's a great oh, thing. New. Because oh, yeah. there you have the liberty. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. You ain't bogged down oh, by right. religion. You ain't bogged down by a bunch of rules that the church done made up. Now, I ain't saying that I break rules. I ain't saying nothing like that. I'm just saying. Ahead, we live brother, by brother. faith now. The Bible tells us over in Romans. What did it tell? Romans chapter 4. What did Abraham find when it was according to the flesh? Amen. It says, Romans Chapter 4, verse 1, it says, What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, has found? Mm -hmm. We know he didn't find grace. We know he didn't find righteousness. But listen to the next verse. It says, For as Abraham were just, it says, For if Abraham were justified by works, he has wherefore to glory, but not before God. Amen. He can't glory before God. If he's trusting in his flesh, no, he can't. 
Amen. We can't we can't glory before God if we just if we are trying to justify our lifestyle and motives according to our wisdom. Yep. That's right. Can't do it, my friend. Listen to verse three. It says, For what says the scripture? There we go. There you go. What, what says you? the scriptures? I'm a scripture believer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him unto him for righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's Praise it. God. Yes. Man, that ought to make a mummy shout. I'm, I'm still in some. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> take those grave clothes off of him. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Praise oh, God. A mummy shout. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it says, now to him who works right, is know. the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Now check that out. If we keep doing what we want to do by our knowledge and by our ability, all we're going to do is heap up a bunch of debt. Mm -hmm. And then eventually that debt's going to make your knees buckle. Mm -hmm. It's going to make your back hurt. It's going to make your neck hurt. Man, you can't. That's going to be a heavy load. Amen. Yes, it is. But yeah. I'm glad I went to Jesus. Now he yes. bears my heavy load. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He Glory says, but him who works not, check that out. Man, love that. He who works not, mm. but believes on him who justified the ungodly, who justifies the ungodly. Mm. His faith is counted for righteousness. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't work, but if our, if our faith is right, we will do right works. Amen. Amen. That's right. But we're not justified by the works. That's just the evidence that we believe right. Man, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Guaranteed. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Take it away, Brother Warfield. Amen. Amen. Boy, I tell you that what, was, was this rich or was this rich? Oh, my goodness. And we've got some a lot of comments yeah. here. Um, um, Sister Stacy says, My, my, think about it. Amen. <laughs> uh, Pastor Curtis again says, great reach of the lord tonight revival is in the land today you know and to that thought um we're going to do some quick um 60 second to two minute rounds and then we're going to come back to our special guest uh brother james but i kind of want to talk about that i believe that revival is in the land i believe the message of the cross is taking a bigger route now than ever before. This is the greatest dispensation to be alive. This is the greatest time frame to be alive because God's revealing who he is and what he's done by way of the Holy Spirit. You can't even understand this properly without the Holy Spirit on the move. And he's on the move today. So to the people watching, I just know by the Spirit of God, people are, are, are becoming more determined just from hearing this i believe people have are, 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 through the help of the holy spirit are getting a made-up mind you know what i don't care what people think i don't care i'm i'm going to get maybe get out of that church as my brother always joking really not joking me but says with passion mama's church grandmama's church Annie and m's church you know that stuff's going to kill you what what did our guest say it's poison in a pot we have to we have to really realize time is too short to be playing games. We need to be determined. And I like something he said, and I want to echo it. The Holy Spirit makes the determination. It's not us. Because you get in your own strength to be determined, and it's just you with your yeah. chest out. But when God's doing it, it's not your chest out. It's, it's Jesus out. And you're behind him. You're in him. And that's through uh, believing the revelation that he's given to them. It's a faith thing. It's not a works thing. It's nothing you can muster up enough strength to be more determined. It's just believing God for what he says and, and, and going all in. I know the, those that used to gamble, we say, I'm all in. They put it all on the table. And it's putting it all in for Christ. Mike, real quick, give us a thought for those that are – hearing the spirit of the lord and are moving in this direction what would you say to that one well right now i'm just going to tell you some of the stuff seems kind of harsh if you never 
heard this before, but like the Apostle Paul said in Galatians 4, 16, am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth, the truth is Jesus Christ and the crucified. That's what he's talking about, truth. We're yeah. telling you the truth. We're doing this in love. This is the greatest love. You can. This is the love, faith that works by love. Yes. Perfect yes. love that casts out all fear is what we're talking about. This is the only thing that can change an individual's life. Sometimes when you preach the cross this determined like this, sometimes you feel like David Duke in a Farrakhan rally. You know, you feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> but there's 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 victory in this if yeah. you just hold on to this and just stick to it and hold on to the simplicity that's in Christ Jesus. I'm done. Amen. And I like that note that Mike threw in there. It is a people think love means you you ooey gooey and oh everything's okay. No, love is saying you're going the wrong direction. Turn. Love is saying that what you're going to do will kill you. Nobody's going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you. That is love. Why? Because you might run into a brick wall, and some of us have been. Brother Richie, talk to that person that has been feel like they're banging their head against the wall. With, with religion, with Christianity, what would you say to that one that, that is sensing to, that I need to, 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 to yield to what I'm sensing the Spirit doing in me right now? Yes. What would you say to him? I would say uh, to the preacher, I feel like it's to the, this message was for tonight that our brother ministered on to the preacher because of where he came out of uh, Second Timothy. I mean, First Timothy uh six and uh three you you know when you start off the right way you 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 preach in the right message and then you begin to look at the numbers and you begin to look at the yes. money and then you mm -hmm. begin to let the wrong people in your pulpit yeah i just want to read one portion and i'm done of, uh, first timothy six and i'm gonna start at at uh uh, 10. You see, when the heart changes, and then when the heart changes, the message changes. Oh, yeah. And then that mm -hmm. this is what makes it makes you yes. a false teacher and what yes. makes the message false doctrine because now you've left the altar. The message mm -hmm. has left the altar and everything. So, and you say it ain't about money, but that's what it's about. Yes, that's it is. all it can be about. Because you begin to look at the numbers, oh, we got to fill this place up. And then yep. the money's dwindling. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Paul told Timothy this, which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith. Deep faith. A lot of preachers, deep faith, a lot of yep. preachers don't even know they gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they that's don't true. Even know they gone. <laughs> Good one, brother. They're talking that mess. Oh, man, they just... You, you know, they preach for salvation or whatever, man. But hey, whatever, brother. You you done left the message. Mm -hmm. Come back. The God is saying, come back. Yes. Come back. Jesus Christ and nothing else. This is it, man. The love That's of God it. is saying, come back. Yes, come back. That's Quit it. looking yeah. at the numbers. Quit looking at the people, and come back. Come back. back. Yeah, I hear come the spirit yes. in that. Tell us, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and brother James. As you take this last stretch, uh, whatever the Lord leads you to do, there's just some comments, if it's a prayer, whatever. But I do believe the Holy Spirit is saying, come back. Because yes. at the end of the day, it's a leaving of your first love. It's Lay not man. even saying that's you it. didn't that's have it. salvation, but you right. left that place. Yes. And the Holy Spirit is simply saying, come back. Well, how would you take us out of here and quit giving it back to you? Thank you for what you shared, this was excellent. It was just, yes, it, was. it was on point. And make sure you stick around when we do sign out. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord, brother. Look, uh, you know, the Bible tells us in Titus chapter two, it says, for the grace of God has brought salvation. Come on. That brought, that brings salvation. Let me go back. Let me try that one more time. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Mm. You better believe that revival has been here. Yes, that's right. That's right. Revival that's right. 
took place when cross said it when christ said it is finished you did that's right amen that's the revival took off right then mm -hmm. hallelujah come on yes. to whosoever will believe yes it's revived Amen. That means Thanks, their spirit man. is revived. They, they that old man's been crucified. Oh, Hallelujah! Yes, New man has been raised. Hey, man. Yes, yes, amen. Yes, amen. That's, That's the great. greatest revival you'll ever have, my friend. That's, That's all we need. And the Bible tells us that it brings salvation and has appeared to all men. That it teaches us. It says teaching us. That denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live. There's that word. There's that word soberly again. Yes. Righteously. Yes. And godly in this present world. Mm. We should live those. And let me say something. You will be living those if it's more than just a head knowledge. Yes. Mm -hmm. You right. will be living what you preaching if it's from the heart mm -hmm. because man can teach you how to preach that's right but man can't teach you how to walk that's exactly mm -hmm. right god teach you how to walk holy spirit teach you how to walk he'll lead and guide you upright in this world that others might see your life and you ain't made even may not even say a word to them but be convicted because they see that god's working in you mightily mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Amen. That's right. And we have to preach because the Bible said it is by the preaching. Amen. That all men should believe. Amen. So That's it right. is by the preaching. Yes, it is. Amen. And that means that we must be first partakers of what Christ was a first partaker of. Oh. The cross. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And if we're not partakers of what Christ did, then my friend, you could come tonight yes. and you can have revival right there in your house, right where Amen. you sit. Right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Right where you at. It don't matter if you it don't matter if you 16 cans into a 20 pack. Come on, brother. You hear me? It don't cans. matter if you've done done a half a gram of cocaine or an yeah. eight ball. It come don't on. matter. It, don't, make no difference. Go ahead, it don't matter right now if you got a gun cocked and you got it sticking in your jaw and about ready to pull the trigger. God is telling you, come. come right He's there. telling you to come right because there. he loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. That you might be revived, my friend. No matter Amen. what you've done, no sin is too great. None. You haven't failed too far. For God to reach you tonight. You hear me? Amen. The Bible don't talk about tomorrow. It says today is the day of salvation. That's right. Thank now you, is the time. Now don't put it off, my friend. If the Lord's dealing with your heart tonight and you've heard something that's pricked your heart, draw nigh unto the Lord. Yes. But draw nigh unto him by going to the cross. And laying every burden down, hallelujah. Yeah. Laying every weight and everything that so easily besets you. Lay it down. Lay it aside. Yeah. Come on. Take up the cross tonight. Amen. And you'll find true revelation. Or yeah. I don't even uh, praise God. You'll find. Yeah. You'll find it. Revival. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I haven't found yeah. the word revival in the word yet. But anyway. <laughs> revelation that is that is a revival for yes, the cross to be uh revealed to your heart amen man that's it that's what we want i want something genuine i want something that's of god i don't want something that the world's made Come or on. that the world's promoting i want i want the goods amen i want my kids to have the goods i want whosoever will hear to have the goods amen right now that's what we do it for amen everybody Whosoever will hear, amen, and call upon the name of the Lord tonight, repent and believe. And the Bible says you shall be saved. Amen. 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 Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Yes. And I'm just going to, there's no magic prayer um, because it's with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Yes. And with the mouth, uh, confession is made. But let me tell you something. A confession that that that's acceptable to God 
always is a byproduct of the heart connecting first. I want to lead you in a prayer, but let me tell you something. If you don't mean it in your heart, the words mean nothing. But if your heart connects with this truth that's come through the screen today, what we're going to say can be the beginning of your restoration or your start. It really doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to ask you brothers to, to join in this with me. And I just know the spirit has troubled the waters in a good kind of way. And those that get in this pool, God's going to move for you. And we don't Hallelujah. need to be there. We don't have to lay hands on the Holy Ghost to lay hands on you. Yes. Hallelujah. And thank Father, y'all. we just thank you right now, Lord, for the moving of the yes, spirit, Lord. Father. We pay psychiatrists thousands of dollars to have what you're doing free. Oh, right hallelujah. Now. And Father, Hallelu- those that are there, maybe one like the brother said with the gun, maybe someone in a 20-pack, Lord, whoever is there, Lord, you, Lord, they've said, I've had enough, Lord. Stop yes. right now. The Holy Spirit speaking oh, hallelujah. right now. Yes, and Lord. say this after me Yo. with a believing heart. Say this and everybody help that individual. Say this after me. Say, Father God. Father God. I come to you. I come to you. you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And I turn my faith. And I turn my faith. To that exclusive work. To that exclusive work. work. Of what you did on Calvary. Of what you did on Calvary. In that exclusively. That exclusively. Everything else. Yes. Is a waste of time. It's a waste, a waste of, time. of time. There's no other righteousness. There's, There's no, no other righteousness. righteousness. There's no other ploy. There's, There's no, no other ploy. ploy. There's no other tactic. There's, There's no, no other tactic. tactic. I denounce it. I, I denounce, denounce it. it. I walk away from it. I walk away from it. And I return back to my first love. And I return back to my right first now love. in the name of right Jesus. Now right Jesus. now in the name of Jesus. By faith. And Father, right now, I just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing across this country, those listening, even on the rerun that's being shared. Father, we thank you, Lord, that the testimony of Christ will do what we can do, what what, what psychiatrists could never do, Lord, what what sliding of hands and mirrors and smoke, Lord, and financial offerings could never do, Lord. You're doing hallelujah. hallelujah because it's you confirming your word with the signs. Father, let the sign be the changed life today. Hallelujah. Yes, and we thank you for it in the yes. name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and amen. amen. Glory to amen. God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Boy, I Praise sense God. the presence of the Lord moving in this. And brother uh Wilcut, I know he doesn't mind this. Uh he doesn't ask us to do this, but I want to tell you if something said today, um you want to continue this dialogue and this discussion. Why don't you inbox him as well as any of us on this panel? Uh, yes. Brother Richie Rowe, Mike Warfield, and James Wilk, uh, Wilcut. You can inbox any of us through Messenger. Um, and I'm going to give it back to him just to tell us how we can get his content. I've been posting uh, to the best of my ability. I'm one man, but I've been trying to put a lot of his stuff on our group. We have Word Across uh, Ministries page and a group on here on Facebook. But what type of, uh, how can people hear more of your, I notice you, you've got some times you do go live. Uh, take a moment and share with people how they can get a hold of you. Oh, yes. Uh, amen. All right. Uh, Friday night, I do a broadcast every Friday night at seven o'clock. It is called uh, the Good Fight Broadcast. It starts at seven. Uh, but everything that we do here at Crossway Ministries in Greenwood, Mississippi, we do, uh, we have, uh, Brother Voss has a website. It's called crosswayministries.org. You can go to that. You can hit, that's the Sunday service. And that's also, uh, it's YouTube. Uh, and I think it's not Wednesday night, but you could, it, you could just go on to my Facebook page, James Wilcut. Just go straight there. And you can, and every Friday night, it'll be on there. I share our Wednesday night contending for the faith broadcast also, and everything that's being done. The Tuesday morning trumpet, Jonathan does one that's called, uh, it's, it's, man, look, uh, he's going to get me now because I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) He's going, I'm going to hear it, but then now he, now that brother loves me. He he ain't going to do anything to me. But uh, he does one that's called uh, the Sunday, uh, 
yoked up with Christ. I believe right. that's what we're okay. talking about. Okay. Christ. Yoked and, up Christ. But we have a YouTube channel. It is if you it's Crossway Ministries Evangelist page. And everything that we do is downloaded right there. You can go to YouTube. You can type in Crossway Ministries Evangelist page, and it'll pull up everything that we do. That's a good way for those that don't have Facebook. Right. You can go to YouTube. You can find it right there. No problem. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm just uh, excited about what the Lord's doing and every one of us. And uh, I'm just uh, praying and, and believing that we'll all continue Yes. Uh, to run this race with patience. Amen. Amen. Continue to just keep preaching and keep teaching Christ and him crucified and, and turn from everything else. That way, those that have turned can have some place to come back to. Amen. Amen. And the reason why we um, put that information out there is because your ability to hear the truth is critical to hey. your growth. It's critical. And like he said earlier, it's not just preaching. You got to believe it. But the Bible says, how should they believe unless someone is preaching? Preaching. And unless, how do they pre preach unless they're sent? So we thank that's God it. that those have been sent into this field. And we thank God that they're preaching the truth. Amen. <laughs> and we also, as this eloquent word came forth by the spirit of God, we need to shun that which is not. So if you want to know stuff that's safe to listen to, we invite you to go to this. Um, yeah, my wife just put it up there on the screen. That way you can get food that's not poisonous. Amen. That's not. Amen. Doesn't have these little little time that's bombs right. in it. One, Ain't no gores in this pot. That's <laughs> what we're saying. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. So this is Word of the Cross Ministries, and this is Cross yeah. Country Broadcast. We do this every one Sunday night way. at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. One and we Amen. only come here for one purpose, and that's one. It's not two ways. There's not three ways. There's not four. It's one way. Jesus Christ and him crucified. Do y'all love us, baby. Thank you for watching Cross Country. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Feel free to contact us. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.